are back at the Cougar Eliminator. We're back and the uh, next project for it is coming up here. Let me uh, show you what that's going to be. Dug this out the other day. This is a 4R70W, and um, it's going to end up in the Cougar Eliminator. Um, the car has a 325 gear, which doesn't sound like much, but with that little 14 inch tire. Uh, I was cruising 62 miles an hour at 3,000 RPMs, and that was not a lot of fun uh, when you have to go on like a five-hour drive. It's not a lot of fun when you have to go on more than like an hour away. So uh, these are just some old, old parts I got to get scrapped out uh, here. But. So anyway, um, so we're gonna, the plan is we're gonna rebuild it, take it apart, clean it up, see what we need, um, basically go through a 4R70W rebuild with it, uh, convert it to two wheel drive, because it is four wheel right now. And then um, the other thing we have to make that happen is we have an adapter plate. And it comes with a flex plate, but what I realize is the torque converter I want to use, this is not the right uh, bolt circle pattern here where the torque converter bolts up to it. So we're going to set that aside. And this came from... Uh, it uh, comes with a starter as well. Which... Um, is pretty nice. The kit was uh, pretty affordable. It came from uh, performanceadapters.com. Um, it was the first time I talked to the guy. He was uh, actually really nice and uh, really helpful and and uh, was pretty happy to um, make the purchase from him. So it comes with a bunch of bolts, uh, a special adapter, for the crankshaft from the uh, FE to the um, small block style bell or mod motor pattern. Uh, so I opened up some of this stuff, but I did not open up the um, uh, the actual adapter plate itself. It's Everything's wrapped up really nice. The packaging was really secure for shipping and it got here quickly. So, you know, what, what more could you ask for? It, uh, Nice guy to deal with, and so far everything looks great. And so that uh, is another part. We'll work on the installation of adapting this in. And also from US Shift, I have a... Uh, let me see if I can find it. Hang on. So we came all the way up here, up the spiral staircase, and I'm going to stand on part of the shelf here. Um, so, okay, so I have the... Uh, controllers for the four speed i have two of them because one's going to end up in a 79 f350 with a 460 and an e40d uh so they're in this box but they are from uh us shift and we're going to work on that installation as well all right let's uh head back down here trying to think of when I'm going to start on this. It's got to be pretty soon because I was talking about installing it this coming Saturday and it's a Tuesday right now. So probably I think tomorrow night I will get started on the build. I did order a few things for it already. Um, I have to look and see if I have a kit here um, which will be somewhere uh, way up there. Somewhere upstairs if I have one. If not, 
If not, I'm gonna have to order one, but we're gonna we're gonna get this apart, this uh, 4R70W, get that built, and um, start getting it installed in the car. Um, project I'm looking forward to. It's a little overdue, but man, I have been really, really busy all winter. It's just been non-stop. So, but time is running out. We, <laughs> it's always a countdown to Carlisle because I have about uh, six weeks, uh, six weeks to Carlisle. So, and then after that is the great race. So we really have to make sure everything's good and get everything together before Carlisle. And uh, then, then we'll, uh, then we'll go. So yeah, exciting. It's gonna be a fun time. Right now the car has a C6 and uh, when I took the trip to Maryland, I did change the rear axle ratio to uh, 247, and that thing cruised on the highway real good. No problem doing about 70, 75 miles an hour uh, nonstop. The engine was probably around 20, 25, maybe 2600 RPMs doing that. And, um, you know, it was great, great for cruising on the highway, but for taking off, um, it doesn't quite have the leverage. <laughs> I don't know. It can't get much worse than a 247 gear. And when this goes back together, um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to decide what gear to use. I do have, I think it's either 389 or 391 already set up in a, in a nine inch. Um, but no, that won't work because that's a 30, 31 spline because that was for the wagon here. Uh, the wagon's 31 spline, so that won't uh, uh, that won't work. So I'll, I guess I'll get another another gear set and um, put together another Ford 9-inch uh, third member um, with I don't know. I'm kind of undecided whether I want to go with 350 or 373. Uh, one of those would would be real nice. The uh, uh, 4R70 is kind of a wide ratio. It's got a little bit lower first gear than like an AOD or the C6 does. But then again, the C6 was built with wide ratio, but it's not quite as wide as what the 4R70 has. It's got a like a 272 first gear, whereas the 4R70 has a 284. Um, originally, I was going to go with a... Uh, do a six-speed swap in the car, uh, six-speed automatic, a 6R80. Um, but that's got such a steep first gear that a lot of people don't even use first gear in like a drag race um, application. So I have the uh, six-speed standalone computer and a 6R80, all the parts to put it together. And that's going to end up going in the wagon here. So that's um, that'll be another project coming up, um, and another adapter plate as well because of course this is also an FE uh, based engine. It was a 427 that got bored and stroked to 483. Um, mild cam, but it's a big mild engine and good for driving around. Lots of torque, but it still has lots of pep. And it needs more gear. This has got a 280 gear in the rear, but taller tires than the Cougar. So they're probably pretty close to the same um, as far as uh, leverage. But anyway, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the current update here and uh, what's going to be uh, coming up next. So, all right, stay tuned. More Cougar stuff, transmission stuff, and um, getting things ready for uh, the countdown to Carlisle. See you there.